All right, amazing artists. So far, we have learned how to take a strip of paper and overlap it to make a roll. That really does roll like a wheel. Woo, watch it roll away. And we've learned how to overlap the paper at the end to form a loop. And now we're gonna get ready to learn one of my favorite paper folding techniques, which is curl. For the curl, you're going to need a pencil, scissors, and paper. And this type of drawing paper, the thin kind, I think works the very best. Thicker paper doesn't tend to curl as well. I'll give you a moment to make sure you have a pencil, scissors, and some thin drawing paper. After you know how to use this technique, if you want your paper to have designs on it, you can always draw them ahead of time and then curl your paper when you're done. I'm gonna start by cutting a thin or skinny strip from my paper, about as wide as two of my fingers. If you want a really straight line, you can always draw your line first, but I'm just gonna focus on keeping my scissors straight ahead and looking with my eyes to the end of the paper so I can keep my line as straight as possible without drawing at first. Do you have your piece of paper cut? I'll give you a moment to catch up. The next step is to take your pencil, and you could use a colored pencil or a marker either, either, any type of tool that's shaped like this. And I'm going to take my paper strip, I'm gonna to come to kind of the middle of my pencil, wherever's comfortable for you, and notice how I'm holding it down with my thumb. So I have it pinched here with my thumb, and I'm going to start to wrap and roll. And I'm pulling it really tight as I'm doing it. Whoops, I pulled it too tight. That's okay if it comes off, just stick it back on the pencil and roll, roll, roll. I'm gonna roll that up. And notice I'm going a little slow so that I can make sure it's nice and tight. I'm getting to the end, almost there. And I'm really pinching it quite hard. That's why it's not great to use a crayon for this because if you're pinching hard, you'll probably break your crayon, but even a strong pinch won't break your pencil. All right, I've got it all the way wrapped. I'm gonna give it one more pinch just to make sure that it's really nice and tight. And then I'm gonna let go and I'm gonna pull my curl off. So right now this curl is very tight. It didn't even really change from the width of the pencil when I took it off. So if I want to loosen this curl up now, you can loosen it by pulling your fingers and pulling the curl out and then letting it snap back. But if you want the curl to stay really tight, don't touch it, leave it just like this. But I want my curl to be a little bit looser. So I'm gonna take it and come out like that. And now I've got this wonderful spiraled piece of paper that is a curl. And you can see it's much looser now that I've opened it up. Let's do another one. You can try the pencil technique if that worked well for you, or you can roll it without a pencil. You can try both ways to see what's more comfortable for you. This time, I'm going to cut another strip of paper, and you can make them as skinny or wide as you want. And this time I'm going to roll it up without the pencil. But the pencil really is a good way to do it. So if the pencil worked for you, do it with the pencil again. But if you had a hard time getting it wrapped around the pencil, you can start by folding over the edge a little bit and then rolling it without the pencil. This is gonna give you a really tight curl. Roll, roll, roll it up. And I'm not really pinching right now because there's nothing in the middle to keep me from smashing it. So I'm just trying to keep it tight without smashing it. And so when I finish rolling the whole thing, what I can do is kind of pinch it a little bit 
and turn it while I'm pinching it so that I don't just smash it flat. If you accidentally smash it flat, just go to the other side and pinch it on that side so it kind of opens it back up. So this is gonna be a lot tighter than with the pencil and when I let go, it doesn't even pop open. Now, if I wanna loosen that curl, take your hand and open it up and then you can loosen the curl up. So artists, today we've learned how to make rolls, we've learned how to make loops in the other YouTube videos before this one, and we've learned how to make a curl out of paper.